Hi everyone, Andy Trice here, and welcome to the final video in my multi-part series on building an application using IBM Bluemix mobile services. In this video, I'd like to highlight some of the analytics and logging that you get out of the box when you build an app using IBM Bluemix mobile services. The first thing I wanna show you is some of the analytics and logging in the advanced mobile access package. So I'm gonna jump down to the monitoring link and in here, we'll be able to see a number of different things. There's an overview, there's usage, there's network monitoring, devices, client logs, and authentication. You can see them all on the left-hand side. What we see in the overview is, uh, the, is the number of active devices and the uh, performance of service requests over whichever date range you've configured. If I go into filters, you can see that I'm showing it for the last seven days, but I could set a custom range and really drill in any way that I want. And right now it's being aggregated per hour. Let me do this by day, and it'll be a little bit easier to see. You can see that on the 29th there was one active device. Uh, yesterday there was one active device. Today there was one active device. There'd be a lot more if a lot more people were using this if it was a production system. And again, the service requests, we can see that there's been 27 service requests. Let me jump over to usage, where you can see application views, you can see new users. These are based upon users that it may have logged in. I'm not using authentication, so I'm not gonna see any data for this. You can see the performance of network requests. So you can see the network round trip time, the number of network requests. Um, you can see what all the different service requests were. And all of this, again, there's not much data because this is my debug instance just over the last few days, but it's being aggregated per day. I could break this down to per hour and we can see uh, when there was spikes of network activity. I could also jump in and see the number of active devices. So again, this is per hour. If I aggregate per day, you can see which days we have more activity. We can see the number of new devices. We can go in, I'm gonna skip down to authentication so we can see user validations. And even though I'm not using any kind of authentication, the user session is being validated. So we can see you know, how many of these are being validated over this period of time which resources that require validation are being accessed. You can see how many instances of that you can, so you can monitor activity within your apps. Um, and you can also come in and see client logs. And when you go into client logs, you're actually gonna be able to search for the logs, uh, remote logs that are being collected from the mobile devices. So you can see debug logs, if you wanna see debug logs, if you want to see fatal errors, you can see Right here, we've got uncaught exceptions. So this was would be a case, you know, if the app crashed, we can see any kind of error messages. And this would be if you were debugging error messages within your application. Now let me jump back from mobile access. And next we wanna take a look at the monitoring and logging options for the Cloud and NoSQL database. If I come here into monitoring, We'll be able to see the number of database operations per day, per hour, um, you know, based upon the time range that's been specified. And we'll be able to see the amount of database storage that's being consumed over time. Right now, I'm really not taking much storage from the database at all. So there's not much data being displayed there, but you can get the idea. And finally, let me jump back to my application again and we'll go into push notifications. So we'll select push iOS 8, we'll go down to monitoring, and we can see here push performance. So you can see the number of push notifications that have been put through um, and the number of devices that are subscribed to push notifications. So I'll aggregate this by day so it's a little bit easier to see, or perhaps not, I thought it might be. We'll leave this per hour. And you can see that there's one push notification has been pushed through and I've got two debug devices that have connected to this service. Again, if this were in production, you'd see a lot more data. Think about it, I have two devices that I've connected to this. If I had 10,000, you'd be able to see how many devices are subscribed to those 10,000. You'd be able to see how many push notifications have been sent out, and you'd see overall a lot more information. But I just wanted to give you an idea of what is available.